Today is Monday. Hey it's guys, a holiday it's here in Canada. Canada. Begin to light. It's called Family uh, today Day. Today is so Monday. It's a holiday off. here in Canada. Uh, it's called Family, family Day. Open, but so um, everybody has most, the day like, all off. Banks, schools, uh, like malls uh, and community centers even most are open, but um, most, most like all banks. So schools, got up uh, and I like did some fruit art with Charlize. So got up and I did some fruit art with Charlize. And then I also made myself a banana smoothie. Of course, Johnny and I had banana mango smoothie today. And um, then I just uh, hit the gym. Well, actually, I had a client. So what's really cool about uh, my job is that um, this client that I went to, she has a six-year-old. So it's a holiday. I don't have uh, help today. So uh, she said, bring the kids over. So I went over there to train her and our kids played together out in the playroom. Uh, so that was really cool. My kids had fun. And then we came home and my niece came over so that I could um, go out to the gym to do my workout. So I had to do a run today. I did uh, just six kilometer run and then um, I did some lower body training, weights and core. And um, it's cold outside. So I think it's negative 11, but with the wind chill, it's like negative 20. So it's just too cold out. Like the cold air sort of like bites your lungs almost when you're running and uh, makes it really difficult to breathe and then the sidewalks are still a little bit icy snowy so I decided to stay indoors and I had a great workout so I'm happy that I did that. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in the house and uh, check on the kids and John I think he's inside on the bike so I'm gonna go see what's going on. Oh look who it is. It's the vegan brothers. <laughs> so this is John's brother Justin. And Justin went vegan with us. He went vegan at the same time we did. Yep. So, how do you like being vegan, Justin? Oh, I love it. Can't, can't see any other way of eating or living my life since coming here. And does being vegan keep you skinny? Keeps me skinny. Skin's clear. I don't have a pimple in months. Don't sweat as much when I sink. More energy. And it just improves your overall outlook on life. Yeah. Don't sneak as much as you, when you sweat. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's funny. Like, don't you don't? Uh, it changes the way you think. Like, I think that for people that aren't vegan, like, it's almost like they wouldn't understand that. Yeah. No. It really changes who you are as a person. Yeah. You, know? you don't think that when you first start. You think it's just food, and then yeah. after a while, it changes your perspective. Yeah. Slowly, you just start turning into a different person. You become more compassionate. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so what was the workout today? 40 minutes easy. Super easy. Yeah? Just chill. Easy for you too, Justin? Uh, not too bad. I'm still good back into things, but yeah. Cool. Low effort. Long time to do. This isn't your new bike. No. No. Justin has a Trek bike as well. Trek family. Yeah, it's the Trek family. You can see. Well, you guys know we're crazy about bikes. Cool. So I had tons of ripe bananas, so I'm just uh, making a bucket full for the freezer for my smoothies and ice cream. And here's my little man, he's munching on a banana. Okay, so now it is dinner time, and we are just making um, some vegetable pad thai. So <laughs> John is testing out the sauce. Testing it out. And over here we are uh, just sauteing some vegetables. Some of those look delicious. Um, so I just saute my vegetables in vegetable broth. So I don't use any oil and the vegetable broth works amazing. It ta it's really tasty and um, stuff doesn't stick to the pan. It has lots of flavor. And then I'm just boiling my pot of water, waiting for that to boil so I can throw in the rice noodles. And we're gonna have a high carb, uh, low fat, low sodium meal for dinner. Okay, so dinner's ready. Do, do, do. Some nice uh, low fat vegan pad thai. Uh, low sodium, low fat, high carbohydrate, just how we like it. Um, so I had someone, they came, they picked up the stroller, so we sold the stroller. Um, so that's like an example too of where, you know, we said we were selling stuff because we want to start saving money. Um, like now, me now, if I had child, like new babies, I would never buy that stroller. Maybe I would buy it secondhand, like these people did. They were very smart. Um, you know, that makes sense. But I would never spend that kind of money now on a stroller, like knowing what I know. So I guess that's kind of one of the things, like as you get older, you learn and you grow. So now we are starting to learn that um, you don't 
need to spend that much money on certain things and um, like buying secondhand is a really good idea so um, especially for baby stuff because you you go through it so fast you use it so quickly um, so yeah I'm a big hand uh, a big fan of um, hand-me-downs and buying things secondhand I think it's a great idea okay so I'm gonna wrap it up for today if you like this video press the like button if you haven't subscribed yet please do otherwise I will see you on the next video